if you are over age 40 and if you are worried how you are going to immigrate to canada because uh, pnp is not working express entry is not working lmi is really tough other uh, things are really expensive in that case we have opened one new channel that is uh, uh, study visa so we recently got canada study visa for mr vikram lakundi who got his canada study visa at age 42 and this is the third case after mr vijay khanna after mr sukhbir and uh, he is the third case who has got visa at age 42 so this is a new way of getting your uh, uh, canadian immigration done through canada study visa and uh, and in this video i am sharing his complete profile so watch this video till the end Welcome back to this YouTube channel, The Immigration Gurus. This is Chandra Grover, Research School for ATS Montreal, Canada. We have a great visa success rate in mature cases where the age is about 30, 35, even age 40 as well. There are so many students who have already got visa with this type of complex cases. So to apply with me, ping me on WhatsApp or call me on my number. So in this video, I am sharing the profile of Mr. Vikram Lakundi, who recently got visa in, uh, on December 21st, 2021 at age 42. And this visa with the Algoma University Project Management Program. So this is our first visa after age 40 for Algoma University Project Management Program. Uh, all the other visas, we have got so many visas with the Algoma University Project Management, but never with the age uh, above 40. So this is the first case where we have got visa uh, for this profile uh, of Mr. Vijay Lakuli. And this is the third case. I have already shared uh, both the videos are available uh, of Mr. Vijay Khanna, who went to St. Clair College. Uh, Mr. Sadbir, who went for MBA at uh, Vancouver Island University. And this is the third case who went for uh, graduate certificate uh, in Algoma University Project Management Program. So this is uh, really a great case. Again, uh, 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 getting a visa at age 42 and getting your uh, kind of uh, uh, Canadian dream true through study visa. It's a really blessed thing, great thing, because all the other ways are almost closed, all, almost shut. So this is one of this is becoming one of the great ways of getting your Canadian immigration done. And I feel really blessed when I, when we get visa with this type of complex cases. Uh, so many things are repetitive, maybe, uh, especially related to IELTS GT. I have studied it again and again and again. Uh, IELTS GT, it is uh, very much possible to get visa. He applied for his visa with IELTS GT. His score is uh, 7.0. And I, no need to ask me again, is it possible? I have made enough videos now. Uh, recently, the last video of uh, Mr. Vinit Verma, uh, at age 39, he got his visa as a, uh, at age 39 with IELTS GT and this for at age uh, 42, Mr. Vikram Lakundi, he also got visa uh, with IELTS GT. So it is very much possible at any age, any profile. So IELTS GT is not a hurdle in getting your study visa if you are applying under SDS category. So IELTS GT is perfectly fine. He is from Bangalore, Bangalore Karnataka. Again, means uh, location is not a problem you can apply with me anywhere and uh, you can ping me on my whatsapp or you can call me uh, on my uh, on my number plus nine one nine eight one two three eight zero double eight two if you want to apply with me uh in the profile interestingly uh, he completed his bcom in 2000 and uh, right now current profile is senior it consultant so people again uh, they say that my education is different my current job profile is different it doesn't matter at all at least to me it doesn't matter because your previous education has no value when you are applying for your canada canada study visa after any experience so uh, he completed his bcom from bangalore university in 2000 and then he completed his uh, mba uh, from usa in 2007 so this is very much possible again and again i have shared i am sharing so many cases where people have already done masters and MBA as well, still it is possible to get visa with project management or any specific program after doing MBA. So uh, no need to worry about your MBA, no need to hide your MBA. Even if you have done MBA, I have made so many videos. In many of my videos, uh, students have already done MBA. And even after your MBA, you can go for another program. It should be different. In, uh, in the case of Mr. Vijay Khanna, it was uh, in St. Clair College, Data Analytics for Business. Uh, for Mr. Sabir, it he never done, he had never done MBA, so he went for MBA. And uh, in this case, uh, Mr. Vikram, he has done MBA, he went for project management program. So it is very much possible to go for a different program and get your study visa done, even after completing your master's or MBA as well. 
So no need to worry about your MBA if you have completed it. Even if it is uh, completed remotely, even if it is uh, online, even if it is, uh, uh, what do you call it, a correspondence degree, still it is fine. You can show it and you can proceed for your visa application. In his profile, uh, he is currently working as uh, uh, a senior IT consultant and uh, at Glitwack Facility Services. And uh, before that, he has worked as a principal project engineer, customer manager, project engineer, IT engineer, team leader, team manager, uh, process associate, and supervisor client services. So uh, he is working since October 2001. So he has tw uh, 21 years of experience, a really big experience. He, he uh, already he is already carrying right now. So 21 years of experience is really a big experience. And most of the time, when we consider a profile over age 40, so their children are mostly up at the age 15, 17, 18, or something like that. And they are also ready to go for their Canada study visa uh, through study route. So in uh, getting visa for these kind of profiles is really, really great. Means I feel really blessed that uh, I am dealing with this type of cases. Uh, family, he has a son, wife, parents. So family is there. He applied for his visa alone. I never recommend to apply for your visa until unless uh, you are in a situation where you cannot leave your family behind. If it is slightly possible, uh, even if it is if it is possible for you to leave your family behind, then it is better to leave your family behind and apply for your study visa alone. After reaching Canada, apply for your uh, for your family. Uh, if if you have children, then apply for their visa visa or their study visa, and uh, for your uh, wife or husband, then apply for your spouse open work permit. So uh, you you can call your family later on. Once you reach there, it's better to apply for their visa. Uh, after you get your Canada study visa secured and your family is going to join you sooner or later. So if you can leave your family behind, it is a great thing and you can apply for your study visa alone. Uh, family had immovable assets. So it is a good thing to have. It shows your establishment. Then international travel. Most of the complex cases have international travel. You can add it as well. Liquid assets were good. Family income was good. So all those things profile was good. IELTS GT, it is 7.0. So you can apply for your Canada study visa with IELTS GT as well under SDS category. And you can secure admission using using Duolingo test or some other test uh, available as well. So if you have taken IELTS GT, then you can use it for study visa application. It's not a problem. And uh, he went to uh, Algoma University, so Salt Mary campus. So if you go to Salt Mary campus, if whenever your age is above uh, 34, 35, it is better to go for Salt Mary campus because it comes under RNIP and it can get you a uh, quick and easy PR through RNIP. So if you are there, if you complete your study there and immediately after the completion of your study, uh, if you get the job offer, then immediately after that, you will be eligible for your RNIP. So it works like PNP for you in Ontario. So if you are going for any college or university, which comes under RNIP, then it is a great case for you. It can get you quick and easy PR, just like PNP. Similar to Atlantic, it, uh, this system works the same as well. So he applied for his visa on October 6, 2021, and he got his visa on December 21st, 2021. So the visa timeline is somewhere around two and a half uh, months. So this is the timeline right now uh, going on. Uh, there is a gap of 10 days now because holiday season is going on till uh, uh, January third or fourth. After that, uh, you can get some more results. I don't know how many students are going to get uh, results. Maybe till October, uh, uh, students who applied till October 15th, they may get result till uh, January 10th, but I'm not really sure how many students are going to get result uh, in January. So I hope uh, this video is informative and motivating enough for you guys. And if you feel that your file is complex, profile is complex after age 30, no, it is not really complex. There are so many cases I, I don't even know the count right now, how many cases are there with age 10 years, uh, uh, with age 32, 35, and 10 or more years of experience, and they have got visa as well. So it is very much possible to get visa. We are making it possible here at Immigration Gurus. So if you also want to apply with me, you can call me on my WhatsApp number, plus 91 uh, 9812 Before leaving, like, subscribe, and share the video as much as possible. See you in next video.